According to Eastern philosophy and also some of the North American natives, the world was created so that humans would have a place to exist. Humans, given their intelligence and ability to make conscious choices, are in charge of keeping the world beautiful and harmonious. Better still if we humans can make the world better by our presence in it. When we cannot make it better, at least we should try not to degrade it. So when you travel in a four-wheel drive vehicle like I do, how do you handle your uh, impact on the uh, environment? I don't know if the story I told you is true or not. I don't know any, if anybody does, but um, I think it helps us uh, put some perspective into our lives. So I'm uh, starting a three-day solo trip. I'll be uh, discovering new trails, new campsites in the wild, and uh, we'll see how I handle my impact on the environment. Here I've lost uh, cell phone reception already and um, now I won't get it back until I'm back in the same area later. For the next few days I won't have access to email, um, text messages, internet, uh, no weather forecast, nothing. So this is the beginning of another solo adventure. To minimize damage to the roads, the trails, the tracks, it's a good idea to deflate your tires. It uh, gives the tires a wider footprint, so it spreads the uh, weight of the vehicle over a wider surface. Uh, you also get better traction, so the tires don't spin as much and they don't dig. So it also depends on the terrain, how low you want to go. But uh, for today, I'm gonna be down to 25 PSI. Before we even hit the trail, it's important to keep our vehicle properly maintained to minimize pollution. Only use quality fuel and replacement parts. Your truck will run cleaner, better and longer. Of course, do not dump oil or other fluids in nature. If you change your air filter on the trail, take it back with you. Pack out what you brought in. Drive and hike as much as possible on existing trails or animal tracks. For many reasons, we have been vegetarian for a few years. I just don't think it's necessary for man to kill in order to eat and survive. Plus, uh, excessive meat consumption is uh, not advertised but well known to cause a number of serious diseases. Um, we also try to eat uh, things that are as close to nature as possible. So, of course, fruits, vegetables, uh, uh, nuts, uh, seeds. But also, uh, we try to avoid as much as possible uh, industrial or commercially uh, prepared food. So, uh, very little packaged food. Packaged food, prepared food is always less nutritious than fresh food. The life energy in food is destroyed by processing. We cook 99% uh, of our meals at home. Uh, we take with us when we travel in uh, small reusable containers, so there's no package to dispose of. We bake our own sourdough organic whole wheat bread at home. 
The fridge is a serious consideration when you design uh, an overland vehicle like this. Uh, only you can answer uh, if you need one or not, but as far as um, the impact on the environment, uh, fridge is definitely not a green item. I run mine mostly now uh, off uh, solar panel. Uh, but you still need a 12 volt battery to store the energy and uh, once the battery dies and uh, it has to be replaced, it will end up in a landfill and seriously contaminating the environment. And even the solar panel itself, that's not 100% uh, green energy. Uh, the silicon for uh, manufacturing the solar cells has to be mined uh, somewhere here uh, in South America or other places and uh, mining, mining is a pretty ugly thing so the energy from the sun is green but the rest of the system is not. So I'm not entirely out of communication since I always have with me my um, spot satellite messenger. Because I generally travel to areas that are well outside cell phone reception, I carry with me a um, satellite messenger. This one is an old one, it's the first generation. This little device, when you turn it on, will determine its GPS coordinates and then I can send one of three preset messages to a list of contact. They will get an email uh, that will uh, give them the message with the link where they can see my exact position on the map. In case of a life-threatening situation, there's an SOS button when pressed, it will uh, trigger a search and rescue. The device uh, runs on three AAA batteries. I use rechargeables, which I top up before every trip. The device is uh, water sealed and it will float on water. This particular device is made by Spot Messenger, but there are uh, similar products. The Garmin InReach is probably the uh, the closest one. It's almost uh, 6 30. Uh, we're just two weeks away from um, the winter solstice here so the days are really short. The light is disappearing from the summits around me so I'm going to have a fruit and then around 7 30 8 o'clock I'll uh, probably have a piece of uh, bread and a slice of cheese. So a small garbage bag like this will last me two or three days. Don't throw your trash on the side of the road. Take it to the next town or gas station to dispose of. One bag will attract another and uh, people will start leaving their stuff where you did and in no time it becomes a dump. All the cameras and flashlights batteries are rechargeable. Um, they work at least as well, if not better, than uh, standard batteries and they last much longer than disposables. You can recharge them many times and I like knowing when I leave that I've recharged to the max all my camera and flashlight batteries. It's uh, getting cold but uh, 
barely any wind, so it's not unpleasant. It's interesting how the light had disappeared on the mountains and it's back again. Well, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday. It's uh, well past eight o'clock, but the sun isn't out yet. The wind just picked up. It was actually quite a nice night. Uh, the temperature in the truck is four degrees Celsius, so it must be around minus two uh, degrees outside. <coughs> So I'm going to uh, get organized and uh, have breakfast and then decide what I do this morning. So this is my uh, typical breakfast in the truck. Uh, homemade um, sourdough whole wheat bread, butter and jam, cappuccino, The truck doesn't have a grey water tank, so I have to dispose of the water uh, in nature. Now, we use very little. As you can see, the sink is very small. And uh, we use biodegradable soaps, of course. I always make sure I maintain a clean campsite for myself, for others, but also as a safety precaution. At night, everything goes back inside the truck. That's an old habit we picked up in Canada, because if you leave anything that smells like food outside during the night, you might very well wake up with a bear uh, looking around your campsite for food. It happened to me once, not because I had left food outside, but I woke up one morning, uh, it was about 6 a.m. I was hearing noise outside, so when I pulled the curtain to look outside, I found myself face to face with a bear trying to look inside the truck. We were both just as scared, I guess. Uh, of course, there was no time for a photo, but he left his uh, paw prints against the body of the truck.
So I'm going to prepare lunch, but before I do that, I'm going to wash my hands. So today, like yesterday, I'm going to make a salad with just some uh, green salad, tomatoes, and I have an egg, a boiled egg that I have to, um, to use. So no need for a pre-made sauce with who knows what inside. I just use olive oil and then some vinegar. Sometimes I bring a lemon so I can put some lemon juice in there and then a bit of salt and pepper and that's it. So this is an Indian dish called Kichari. Uh, it's uh, rice, lentils and uh, some vegetables and uh, Indian spices. So here it gets a bit technical. Uh, the uh, the creek bed just uh, ends, and uh, the only way to continue is up this slope. As you can see, uh, people have been placing uh, rocks already. So I think this one I'll tackle in uh, low gear, low range, first gear. Good morning, it's uh, past eight o'clock on this uh, Thursday morning. So day three of my adventure. Uh, it was really cold last night. Uh, it's now zero degrees uh, Celsius in the truck, so freezing. So must be about minus six outside. So I'm going to uh, pack up the bed and uh, prepare breakfast, put something warm in my tummy and then uh, decide what I'm going to do this morning. I'm shaved. I just washed my hair. The water is freezing cold, but anyways, feels nice.
I went hiking up this track here. I took advantage of going up there to gather some firewood for tonight. But of course I couldn't bring everything down at once, so it was up and down, up and down, up and down. And now I've got uh, the whole pile down here. It is Friday morning, day four, and the last day of my solo adventure. I'm going to enjoy the firewood that I gathered last night until the sun comes up. I was really warm in the truck. I have a thick downfield uh, bed cover and two fleece uh, blankets. So that keeps me really warm.
I'm uh, an hour away from the pavement from here and then two hours away from home. So I think I will leave uh, right after lunch. But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this wonderful place, enjoy the peacefulness and the silence. Humans cannot live without impacting the environment, but we can limit the extent of our impact. It is each and everyone's responsibility. The Earth is our home, and it's up to us to keep it clean and healthy for all to live on it. I will quote climber Alex Honnold who said, I'd like to think that when I die, the world will not be a worse place because of me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below how you handle your impact on the environment. And uh, that way we can share between each other. I couldn't cover all the uh, different aspects uh, in this video. There's just too much to talk about. And uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a great day.